This is how Mother Nature uses solar energy. Plants routinely convert sunlight into energy. Organic solar cells can do that as well. And in one key way, they're even better. They're a bit more efficient. By comparison, photosynthesis, the way that plants convert light into energy, is relatively inefficient in terms of surface area. But in many ways, I have to say, nature sets the standard for us. It repairs itself. It grows on its own. I can only tip my hat. Carl Leo is conducting research with carbon-based solar cells. They're so good at collecting solar energy that they can compete with conventional solar panels, which are silicon-based and significantly more expensive. But organic solar cells still aren't as efficient as those made from silicon. The main difference is that crystalline solids are highly organized at the molecular level. The electrons can move through them relatively smoothly. This is an organic solid. Its level of organization is much lower. The electrons bounce from molecule to molecule. That's creating a problem for us because it makes it less efficient than silicon. Improving these materials is really a fascinating physical and chemical challenge. The researchers have eagerly taken up the gauntlet at the Institute for Applied Photophysics. They're testing new compounds that are safe and plentiful, assessing their durability and capacity to collect solar energy. The most promising candidates end up out on the roof. We're putting them through the ringer. They're aging and we want to measure how quickly they age and how they perform in the environment. Over the last few years, the team at Dresden's Technical University has continued to grow. They're working on trying to develop solar power with the goal of one day making it so efficient it can cover about half the world's energy needs. People need energy, and from my point of view, the way they've generated energy up to now has been devastating. These days we drill 5,000 meters deep into the ocean floor and can't control what happens then. We'll probably destroy the Antarctic drilling for oil there. That's completely irresponsible. The signs of climate change are visible every day. We can't keep on like this. The scientists say they've now set a world record for efficiency in organic solar cells. Now they'll be produced by a company named Heliotech. Speed is of the essence for the Dresden-based team because a U.S. competitor is hot on their heels. A single gram of organic material is enough to produce a square meter of solar panel. In a vacuum, as many as 10 layers of the substance are packed onto plastic film or, for research purposes, glass. Then it's time for testing, in containers simulating tropical weather, and for resistance to moisture. The team has found that some organic materials can cope with a wide range of conditions and are also extremely efficient. They're sprayed onto a plastic film based on PET. We're in the process of building the first production facility which will deliver 30 centimeter wide PET foil. We'll make a 500 meter long roll of solar cells. If that works, the next step will be increasing the widths to rolls of one meter or two meters. And someday this technology will help us produce megawatts, even gigawatts of power. The new equipment fills an entire production facility, but only a small part of it can be shown. Solar cells that come in a roll by the meter are extremely versatile. They could provide electricity for a car's air conditioning. Or this could be a mobile power source for laptops and MP3 players. The electricity produced here could also be fed into the power grid. And who knows, one day the technology might even be capable of driving a real train down the track. <laughs>